Hey friends, uh, happy Friday, happy Memorial Day weekend. Um, this is kind of a little bonus video to give you an update to my video yesterday where I was talking about my little shadow buddy. It's not looking good. Um, he's resorted to hiding. He's barely using the litter box. He's barely eating, if anything at all. I don't think he's touched his food at all since yesterday. Um, I put fresh food on top of yesterday's food just to kind of see if he did, um, in fact, go in there and eat when we were not looking, and he has not touched that food yet. Um, my husband moved his food and water dish down to the floor this morning because he used to be up on the, the bathroom counter. He loved loves the bathroom counter because he can look at himself in two different mirrors because he's got the medicine cabinet mirror and then the full-size mirror and he just loved to see himself in the mirror um so if you notice i'm kind of in a weird spot i'm sitting actually on the floor he's to my right underneath this table here which is where our printer is for our computer um and it's dark under there it's kind of secluded there's a couple of boxes of pictures under there so he can kind of hide himself away from everybody. But um, we're keeping him locked in our bedroom, which is a fairly large bedroom. So he's got plenty of room to roam, places to hide. Um, unfortunately, he's hiding in the wrong way right now. Um, I may have mentioned this before. He is between 16 and 18, probably closer to 17 years old. Um, but that's why I wanted to come on here because one of, there's a lot of back and forth about people wanting to rescue versus going through a breeder. Um, I will always be a rescue mama, be it dogs, cats, reptiles. I will always, always, always be a rescue mama. Um, I never knew the importance of rescuing an animal until shadow came into my life. Um, I had tried the rescue road before shadow with a German shepherd and it was the wrong time. I didn't know what I was doing and I did the right thing and I had to give the German shepherd back to the rescue. Um, but when shadow came into my life, Gosh, probably six or seven years ago now. <clears throat> he really changed my life. Um, gave me a new perspective on having a pet. Um, before Shadow, we had gotten a Jack Russell Terrier through a breeder. Because I thought that was the right thing to do, was to go through a breeder. Uh -uh. Shadow adopted me. He brought... A lot of love. He brought a lot of uncertainty. He brought a lot of fear. A lot of no understanding to why he was going from such a small cage to such a big house with multiple rooms to roam. Um, this was when we had our house. We got him. And we had a two-story house. Um... But that's the thing with rescues. You don't know what you're going to get. You, ha you When you're getting a rescue, you might be getting the most loving, the most loving animal out there. Or you might be getting the most timid animal, animal out there. And it may not always work out for your favor or for your family's favor. Um, and I can speak about that recently because I recently had to rehome my Toby. Um, after two years of trying, he was only getting worse with his stress and anxiety. We found out that he does not do well with other pets and other kids. And that's where I'm going next on this with rescuing. 
most rescues come in as strays. You don't know what their past history was. You're taking a gamble. But it's worth every single ounce of that gamble. I tried and tried and tried with Toby. Countless vet appointments. Um, countless different techniques. Um, just, I tried everything. And we found it best to um, get back in touch with the adoption lady that my daughter is friends with from the rescue where we got Toby. And we gave her everything that we knew about him. Like we wrote a literal book on what we knew. And no sooner did she place him in the adoption room, a family came and adopted him. They are a family with no kids, no other pets. And he's got lots of places to roam, lots of plants. We get pretty frequent updates on him. So I feel in that respect, I did the right thing. Um, and as you know, with Shadow, he's our rescue. And then Noir is a recent rescue in the last two years. Um, so we're still learning about Noir. Uh, Shadow, unfortunately, he never, never got rid of the timidness. Um, but one thing that we did notice is he really started to show more and more love in the last few years. And I don't know if, if it's like it's said that pets know when their time is coming. You know, maybe that was just his way of saying, I appreciate everything. I appreciate everything that um, you did for me, that you're doing for me. You know, I, I don't know, but I just know my family and I are going to have to have some discussions this weekend. Um, I, I don't know what's going to become of all this with him. Um, but I'm not ready. I'm not ready, but I know he, he's telling me he is just like my Isaac did last year. So friends, what I'm trying to say is if you're out to get a pet for your family, adopt, don't shop. Okay. There are so many so many animals in the shelter right now. Our shelters here have been at max capacity to the point where they are giving free adoptions repeatedly. Be it cats, dogs. Our shelter is inundated with pit bulls and huskies and all those bigger breeds that people are afraid of. But you know what? They have so much love in them. Cats have so much love in them. But I'm sorry. I was all over the place again. I know I shouldn't apologize. I'm trying to work on apologizing for literally everything. That's just part of the trauma from my childhood. A feeling that I have to apologize for everything. So, yeah. But. I'm just going to let him be. I'm sure, I end this video. I'm going to go out and I'm going to shut my door and just let him be and check on him periodically throughout the day. Um, but no, I will keep you guys posted because he is just as much a part of this YouTube family as I am or you guys are. So I know he's made a cameo appearance a couple of times. 
Um, so, yeah, with that, friends, I'm going to end this video. We're at 10 minutes. Um, but I just wanted to come on here and just give you all an update. Um, because I know I had one YouTube friend reach out, let me know they were praying for me yesterday, and I really appreciate the prayers. I really appreciate the thoughts. Um, I really appreciate the support of you guys watching my videos, commenting, liking. It's helping my algorithms. It's helping my videos get out there. Um, I'm going to play next week by ear for videos. Quite honestly, um, I just, I'm going to play it all by ear for next week. I am not going to promise anything right now because shadow is my priority and yeah. Yeah. Anyways, friends, just know I love you. And as my shirt says, be kind to everybody. Have a wonderful blessed weekend. And hopefully I will see you guys all some sometime next week on the YouTube streets.